I think the car is on fire, Eve says. Smoke, tendrils curl out from under the hood as Samantha Pinsky's Volkswagen Jetta. It's just overheating, Sam answers. They are at the precipice of the soft, winding dirt road that leads up to her family's cabin on the hill. She flips on the heater, and hot air from the engine pours into the interior like batter in a pan. We'll make it. Tree branches whip through the sides of the car on the narrow path as the sun shines and recedes repeatedly through the leaves. Sam thinks how much it would suck if her car breaks down right here, right in the middle of the road, blocking it for everyone else coming up to their cabins on the hill by the lake on 4th of July weekend, or at least for her brother, Steve, who's coming up later, and the look on her father's face as he tries to fix it because he thinks he can fix everything, although he will probably make it worse. And it will be all her fault because in her rush to pick up Eve, she forgot to check the antifreeze at the gas station. Eve rolls down her window and blots her forehead with a McDonald's napkin as Sam holds her breath, trying not to inhale the fumes escaping from the hood. But then they are on level ground, and the familiar red and white wooden cabin appears through the windshield before it disappears behind a cloud of smoke. Jesus Christ, Sam hears her father say, somewhere down the rutted, grassy hill, where the ground slopes to meet the creek below. She gets out with an old towel and touches the hood with it, searching for the latch. Did you put antifreeze in it like I told you?